It's a new week. Happy Monday. That means that we're starting a fresh new episode of My Week in Pokemon. And wouldn't you know it, I've got a gigantic box of Pokemon cards. Fresh off the presses from our friends at Smoke and Mirrors. Hashtag not sponsored. Wish that I was. We've got packing peanuts. We've got a sealed case. And then we've got five more of the Mimikyu EX boxes. So I ordered 11 of these in total. Why 11, you might say? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, the free shipping threshold was $150 for all 11 of these. It was $160, which that breaks down to about $14.50 each. The price was right, four packs each. Beautiful promos. First time that we're getting a look at an EX promo from Scarlet and Violet. Everybody's saying that it's a little bit darker than maybe it should be. Uh, but we're going to open up one of these boxes, take a quick look at it, and uh, we'll share with you, of course, the pulls and the promo cards here shortly. All right, here we go. Scarlet and Violet. Apparently, this is what a base card is going to look like. The silver borders are kind of holographic. I love that. I'm really, really happy with how the base set Scarlet and Violet cards are going to look like. A+, plus, I would say. Big improvement. I mean, let's just take a look at it versus like even a reverse, a reverse rare. Like that just looks so much more classy. It's super classy. It's super classy. Pokemon cards are super classy, evidently. Uh, the promo card, I can certainly understand why people are complaining about the kind of washed out look of this EX. And that might just be because uh, Mimikyu is a psychic type, so a little bit darker. Maybe they've got just a little darker wash over that. But I really enjoy the hollow pattern that you see with the little sparkles. There we go. Look at that. In certain light. No texture, so I'm not crazy about that. It does look a little bit fakey fakey. But the holographic texture, kind of in the background of that, in certain lights, I think does look really fantastic. Pack selection, we've got Uno Brilliant Stars. We've got Uno Fusion Strike. We've got Dose Silver Tempest. Let's rip and see what we get. All right, we got absolutely blanked on that. Nothing but regular rares. I kid you not. <laughs> Four regular rares. Uh, I didn't think this collection box would be the, the absolute heat, but that was really bad, uh, really bad. So much to the point that I feel like I need to pick myself up a little bit and open a little Crown Zenith and make myself feel better about this hobby that I'm sinking so much money into. It's fun. <laughs> Not too great, but we'll take it. We got a V card and we got the Sky Seal Stone, which sells for like five bucks. So we're, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. But the promos, I think that's, you know, like that's obviously the reason that I bought this. And also to have some of them to uh, put in my flea market booth, sell on eBay. I'm justifying. I'm, I'm reach. I realize I'm reaching really far to justify, but that's what you do whenever you've got a hobby that you love and are a little bit obsessed with. So happy Monday. Sold one lonely card on Monday. We got the Charizard regular non-hollow from Vivid Voltage that sold for $4.50 with free shipping. Not bad. Happy Tuesday. We are up and at them and we are being productive and we are making use of those Paladin Pack bags. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting together what I'm calling Pokemon Grab Bags. So this one is probably going to be like one of the more expensive ones. I've got it priced at $14.00 has two sealed Halloween packs, so two of those guys. Has four ultra rare cards. These are from a celebrations lot that I picked up. Has a sealed promo card is what I'm advertising. So I'm gonna do the Lucario ETB card. And then other Pokemon items, which has been like a deck of energy, dice, V-Star marker, and a coin, and then like some other random stuff as I find it. But I've got bags going from $14 to $10, all the way back to $6 is my lowest price one. And this one has a sealed Halloween pack, one ultra rare, and then those other Pokemon items. So again, I'm not trying to rip people off. I wanna be very clear about what they're going to receive with these, but this enables me to move some stuff that maybe I wouldn't normally be able to move as easily uh, on places like eBay and the internet in general. So that's what I'm up to. Oh, and also um, these, Paladin packs are a little bit too wide for a single ETB, so I Frankenboxed two bottom ETBs, and now that fits in there really, really nicely. These actually came apart really good. They've got seams on them, so I just had to do a couple of cuts, and then that way that'll sit on my shelf. People will see that, and then they can dig through the box pretty easily and find hopefully a Pokemon grab bag that suits them and their budget. So that's what I'm up to. Happy Tuesday. Three cards sold upon the eBay. We've got a three card lot of Japanese V Maxes. 
This sold for $5.99. We sold a textured energy card from the Crown Zenith. That one sold for $3.99. Then we sold a Lapras. <laughs> it was a Gengar. Reverse Hollow. Just a reverse hollow. Uh, rare. Near mint. $2.84. Three cards. Low dollars. It adds up. Got a Pokemon related haul. Three items on this lovely Tuesday. Uh, I love buying Pokemon items off of AliExpress. You just never know what you're going to get. This is a lot of 20, I think 24, 24 pieces of Pokemon figures. Paid $5 for the ship. I ordered it on February 22nd. Today is March the 7th, so about two weeks to come in. Looks like uh, we don't have any duplicates. That's cool. And to give you an idea of how big they are and the quality, there's a little Pikachu. We've got a very rotund looking Jigglypuff. We've got a Jolteon, I guess. Um, yep, paint job on that one's a little sus. Got a Haunter, I think, there. Uh, these are just like little things that I thought would be good to throw into some of my uh, mystery bags and different things that I do on the flea market just to increase the value and to provide something cool for my customers. The next two are cards, I think, that I bought off of TCG Player, I would say. Standard envelope shipping does have an invoice with it. The card is wrapped up in the invoice. And then we've got what looks to be just a piece of cardstock, I guess. And they've got the card taped to it. Neato. So going super minimalistic here. No um, top loader, no team bag. We've got scotch tape. But of course the question is, is the card in good shape? They did double sleeve it, so I guess that's kind of nice. This is a Snorlax that I didn't have that kind of caught my eye that was kind of cheap. Oh, it's like a side-loading sleeve. I didn't know that that was a thing. Side-loading. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks to be in just fine shape. I don't know that it's... Yeah, I guess it's near mint. So what do you guys think? I love the hollow pattern on that. That's what really caught my eye with it. I don't know... How much should I pay for this bad boy? Hopefully not a ton. Ooh! $8.49. This is the League Championship Card Snorlax. League promo. Is there a stamp on it? I thought that there was supposed to be a stamp on it. Should there be a stamp on it? I'll have to look that up. But I collect Snorlax. He'll go on the PC back there on the wall in the Snorlax collection. The other one is really, really weird. Um, this is the envelope. Let me cover up our names. Like, if I can show you the thickness. It's very thick, and they got away with just one stamp. I don't know how they did that. Cardboard mashed together. Um, not a great sign. We'll open it up. Oh, I guess I need to give a rating to Snorlax Boy. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. It was protected. You could tell that it was cared for somewhat. Didn't have the, uh, the top loader, or the team bag, the things that we like to get it up to the upper echelon of protection whenever we're shipping cards. So I think 3 out of 5 is uh, perfectly fine. All right, so inside of our little cardboard prison here, we've got a piece of cardboard, and it is in a team bag, and it is a Snorlax. It looks like it uh, made it here just fine, and the condition is not so great. So I'll have to go online and see uh, what condition I purchased. I usually buy cards in near mint, and this thing is effed. My gosh, let's look at the back here. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this is heavily played to me. Uh, my, I guess, condition descriptions are a little bit more stringent than others. Um, but yeah, like on the front, it's got some dents and some dings in the card as well. Might be hard to pick up on the camera, but it's really evident to me that this card has been abused. It looks like somebody took a pencil to the back of it and just like scratched the bejesus out of it. It's got all kinds of surface issues. So that's disappointing, but uh, we'll see. We don't have a name on there, so we can't point them out and say, don't ever buy a card from them. I always buy from trusted sellers on TCG Player. Sellers that have at least, you know, like 30 positive uh, feedback scores with 99%. So these, at least this guy, I'm not happy with him. So I'm going to I'm gonna log in and see what the dealio is. That's, that's, just, that's just real bad. All right, little update. I already got a response from the seller for my damaged Snorlax GX. 
I did purchase this card in what I thought would be near mint condition. I simply sent them the message and said the damage has been done on the back, that it's absolutely jacked up. Um, looking at pricing, uh, this is not an expensive card. It's about a $4 card. So I said damaged cards are going for about 3 bucks. so if you just want to throw me a dollar, then we can call it good. But they fired back, and this is Moon River Trading, upstanding uh, outfit there. And they gave me a full refund because they said they stand by their cards and the condition that they described them in and that they fell short and they felt bad. So they just gave me a full refund. So that's cool. Uh, he can go up on the wall in the collection and he looks fine on the front. So that's cool. That's good for me. But um, yeah, really nice to that seller. And then this one does not have a promo uh, stamp on it. I looked that up. It's just that's how it looks. So two new Snorlax Pokemon cards for the Snorlax collection. What do you do whenever you have a crappy day? You open Pokemon cards, of course, until you get a satisfactory pull. We're going to open up these Crown Zenith Mini Tens. I'm not going to commit to opening up all five of the ones that I have here, but we're going to start with Marnie. We're going to make our way through them until we get a satisfactory pull because today has sucked and I need something to be a little happier about. So here we go. All right, took us three tens to open up and get the hit that we were looking for. We did wind up with five hits. So I'm very pleased about that. We got the Gudra Glaring Gallery, the Radiant Eternatus. Two textured energy cards with the Leaf Energy, Grass Energy, sorry, Fire Energy, and our card of the opening. Churn's Care. Glaring Gallery. Back half, GG58 out of 70. We're pleased with that. We're not pleased with the day, but life goes on. Two items that I sold on eBay, a 50 card lot of celebrations code cards that it went out digitally and those sold for $10.99 and then I sold this Vaporeon VMAX Sword and Shield, one of my favorites from uh, the different evolutions, $15.19. It also includes the code card. Um, this one was snatched up pretty quick. I started a new sell on my eBay page, 20% off items that are 100 days to 200 days or older. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, I've got my eBay listing page uh, linked in the description down below. That's everything that I sold today. All right, ladies and germs, Pokemon opening for today. It is Thursday. We're going to try another pack selection from the Mimikyu box. Last time we opened one, we got absolutely destroyed with not even a hollow card, so I don't have high hopes for these two Silver Tempest, one Fusion Strike, and one Brilliant Stars. If indeed my assumptions are true and I don't get anything, we've got two Ground Zenith Ground? Ground? Ground Zenith 10s. Let's go with that. Uh, that we can open up and uh, salvage a little bit of this opening. So let's get into it. You know what? I think I'm good. We opened up four packs. We got two hits. I'm, I'm fine with that. We got the EV Trainer Gallery from Brilliant Stars and a brand known Full Art Trainer from Silver Tempest. Hooray. At least something. <laughs> At least something. That last box was so bad. Happy Thursday, friendos. We've got three cards that we sold on the Bay of E. Rayquaza VMAX from the Silver Tempest sold for $10. The Shaman V Star sold for $3.98. And then we have the Sky Seal Stone that sold for $2.99. Those are the cards that I sold today on eBay. Big things happening here on Friday. We've got two packages that have arrived. I'm going to attempt to do all three of the things, so I'm going to share a haul, I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay, and we're going to open up some cards all in the same video. It's going to be crazy. I'm really going to stress myself out here. This first one comes to us from the Pokemon Center, and these little pearlescent Pikachu Funko Pops dropped very suddenly, and as suddenly as they came, exited the stratosphere. Apparently they sold out. Uh, I saw that some people's were like individually wrapped. Mine were not. I've got some box damage on this one unfortunately but they were just kind of thrown into the box like this it did have some tissue paper on top of there um, i'll probably keep one for myself and then the other one i'm a dirty rotten reseller what can i say but i'll hang on to it for a while and just kind of see how it does the other thing that i picked up was this celebrations box these came available I want to say it was Monday or Tuesday this week on Best Buy, and I attempted to order three of them. I got them all in my cart. I like had the cart ready to go. I hit check out to like finalize payment, and then whenever it went to the next screen, it said you've been charged thirty eight ninety seven. I was like, what? And then I looked back, and it only charged me for one of them, and it charged me eight dollars and ninety seven cents worth of shipping as well. 
So I was like, that's not what I want. I wanted to pay $30 per unit, and I wanted three of them. I talked to Best Buy Chat. They allowed me to purchase two more of them, and then after that I got a cancellation notice because they went out of stock or something. Long story short, I paid $38.97 for this. I don't have three of them. Um, it is out of print. I will, like $38.97 is a lot for this. It'll be worth that much eventually, I guess. Like that's about how much it's selling for on TCG Player. Uh, but this one's this one's for the backlog. Like if you don't have the V Union Pikachu, I love that card. I think the Jumbo and the the four card set is really really cool. There's not a lot else going on with this because it's only four celebrations packs and two TCG boosters. One of which is Battle Style, so I don't think it's going to be like a super high in demand box. But it does look really cool. It's kind of got the the curb appeal of the box, especially with that V Union card because all the different little Pikachu's I think are pretty sweet. So that's our haul. And then uh, for eBay, we sold one card. Well, kind of. We sold one lot of cards. This is the Professor Juniper promo lot from the Professor Juniper milk carton. So it's the full art card, it's the three hollow cards, and the code card, and the Professor Juniper sleeve. Sold that for $5.98 free shipping. So that's pretty cheap, pretty good deal, I think, for that. And then for our opening today, Lost Origin. These are from the Paladin packs. We have eight packs. My favorite set to open. There's no card from that set that I need for the Trainer Gallery, so it's kind of dumb to open this, but uh, I did notice that Giratina is now selling for $300 raw. I uh, picked my copy up off of eBay. I went with the PSA 9. I think I paid $275 for that a couple months back. Such a good card. So I would love to be able to pull another one of those uh, for, you know, because, I mean, it's worth $300. How cool would that be? But that's that's essentially why we're opening this and why we're hunting that. I don't know about, like, loose pack investments, and I'm still kind of trying to figure that all out. If it's worth it, I don't know. I just have a hard time whenever the packs are like this, not opening them and, like, putting them in a box. And I know that the value of this is just not as good as like a sleeve booster or packs that are in like that Pikachu box set. So I think probably nine times out of ten I will elect to open up my loose booster packs, but I don't know. First world problems. I'm rambling. Let's get to ripping. Here we go. We've got something. I don't know if it's Tina. Look at this. And this is as far as I've seen it and I'm comparing it I don't even know why I'm slow rolling it. I'm so freaking nervous. <laughs> I'm comparing it to my Tina. See my Tina? It's got that, that little black up there at the top, right? This one? I mean, I'm sure that there's other cards in the set that are designed like that. Building a little suspense here. Okay. Let's do this. I mean, it's at least a full art something. And we've got a black code card, so it's it's something. Are we at our reverse yet? Nope, we're not at our reverse. Okay. Radiant Gardevoir. That's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Back here, baby. No, up front. I can't decide what to do. Oh, Aerodactyl, you dog. Oh. <laughs> Thought I had the Tina. Look at the sides, like, compare it. It's it's very close. It's got that V coming down there with the shiny borders. Woo, my heart's racing. That's not a bad pull. That's not a bad pull. I'm not mad about it, necessarily. But, yeah, we were hunting for that Tina. So, Full Art Aerodactyl, Radiant Gardevoir, uh, Reverse Rare Raichu, Trainer Gallery Cook, uh, Namorous V card, Vigilapoom Hollow, and the Hisuian Zorark V Star. So eight packs. Really, probably, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five ish hits, I guess, if you include the Radiant card. I won't include the Reverse Rare and the Hollow. Whew! That is why we open the cards for the thought and the potential of pulling a big card. It's nothing like it. Didn't get it this time. Better luck next time. Have a good day, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are going gold hunting once again with the Crown Zenith 10. We'll open one, see if it suits our fancy, and if not, we've got one more. So, maybe one, maybe two. 
We'll find out. First 10 had absolutely nothing in it. Second 10 only had those two lowly hits in it. Very unsatisfying. Boo. Saturday Hall Edition. I found four more Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes at Walmart. Looks like one Sylveon version and one Leafeon version. Or excuse me, three Leafeon versions and one Sylveon versions. Um, $45 on those at Walmart. There was one more, but the plastic was kind of ripped off of it, so I left it for the kids. Um, check these out. I wish that these were adult size. These are for my son, six years old. They are, I think they're size like two, essentially equivalent. Um, the quality of them is really not bad. Like it's a competent shoe with like, I mean, he's gonna be able to wear these. And they were $17 shipped. <laughs> those are so cool. I am infinitely jealous of those. I want them. And got another order in from the Pokemon Center. It's a small box, another eight by eight. Um, I really loved my beanie that I've got of this one. I got the different color, but they made it in the sand color as well. So I thought, I love that beanie so much. I need to have the other one in the other color. Ooh, that one's like even more comfortable. It seems like it's a little bigger than my other one. I don't even think I've washed my other one. Look at this. I'll leave that on there for the street cred. And then I noticed that they had a ton of uh, three pack blisters. So I picked up Silver Tempest, Vivid Voltage that I didn't have before, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Glaceon, it's nice. And yeah, I thought I got another Brilliant Stars with Leafeon. I hate how the packs always wind up getting moved over there. If I do that, does that help? Fixed it. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, that's it. That's the haul. I like this hat. That's nice. These shoes. That's nice. Evolving Skies ETBs. Those are nice. Happy Sunday. We sold a whole bunch of cards over the weekend. Let's talk about them. We've got a lot of Zamazenta uh, Hollow and a Reverse card. That sold for $3.49. We sold a four-card V-Lot. So here we go. Uno, Dos, Trace, and Quattro. That sold for $5.99. That's pretty nice. I like that. And then we've got a two-card lot of Conkledor. It's the V card and then the full art card. I'll pull it out of there so you can see. Oh, no, it's not the full art. I thought it was. It's, and again, another two V cards. Okay, well, glad I didn't mislead you with that. That was $3.19. We sold the Alt Art Flareon V from the Premium Collection along with the code card. That sold for $13.99. Excellent artwork on that, if I do say so myself. We sold the Charizard V from The Crown Zenith. That sold for $3.99. And then we sold a Kiram V from Lost Abyss, a Japanese card. I've had this listed for quite a while. Finally sold for $6.32. Nice weekend of sales. Hooray. We needed it. We had a very slow week on the Pokemon selling front. I know that one of these is going out to a buyer because I saw a note in the eBay notes, but it doesn't show me on the mobile. Uh, so thank you to whoever you are that says, hey, me and my husband, I think that's what the note said, uh, that they uh, watched the channel. And yeah. So this four card V lot that I was really excited about, it's going to get even sweeter. I'm going to sweeten that pot and throw in a couple of Pikachu V cards as well. That is going to a watcher of the channel, Tyler. Uh, he left me a message and said that him and his wife really enjoy the channel. So Tyler, wife, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoy the freebies. You can be in Tyler's shoes as well if you guys are interested. The link to my eBay store is down in the description. Uh, I always like to give out free cards to anybody that purchases anything from me on eBay that found me on YouTube. So I think with that, that's going to wrap up my week in Pokemon. I don't think I'm going to be opening up anything today. I don't really have anything that's like just... I'm just dying to open up. I've got loose packs. I don't really have any collection boxes, but we'll be back again next week. I think I think we've got some good stuff coming in the mail that we'll be uh, we'll be getting into. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a fantastic week, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.